welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I'm going to be doing my weekly check-in, but before I get started doing that, I want to show you all my new products. I have some new envelopes and I also have a bunch of new stickers that I made and I want to show you those. So those are all currently in my shop right now. So before we get started, I'm just going to show you the new stickers that I added. Before I show the rest of my stickers, I just wanted to mention that I have a giveaway going on right now where you can choose either a calendar or you can choose a full budgeting kit which has four different pieces. I don't have them all here, but you'll see those in just a second. And you can choose um, four strips of thick washi to go with it if you win this giveaway. And it's in my community tab right now. But you can also comment down below on this video. Just make sure you're subscribed to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and then you can leave a comment down below of which sticker set you would like to win. Either the full teal budgeting kit or the full pink budgeting kit or one of the calendars and let me know which one you would like to win and then leave that in the comments. So make sure and check those out on my Etsy shop and then leave a comment down below of which one you would like to win and that's how you get entered into the giveaway. So that giveaway will be combined with the giveaway going on in my community tab. So you can either comment on my community tab or you can comment down below. So here I have my one of my new August calendars that has this washi here. And this is also one of my washi choices for the budgeting kits as well. And this is my favorite calendar. I'm going to be using this for myself. That's why I printed this one and so I could show you. And then I also have a blue option. And the blue option for the calendar uses this washi. And then the color of the August font is this lighter color. And then the color of the August font on the calendar for this is this lighter color. I'm probably just going to insert a picture so that you can see it. But I also wanted to show you here. So that option is really pretty as well. And then it has some little expense tracker dots along the side here, just for a little added freebie. So these are my calendar kits. And I think I'm going to be using one for my personal planner or my life planner where I do like my daily planning and then also I'll use one for my budgeting planner as well. So this is one of the washi options and then this is one of the washi options just like for the calendar. But it's just um, to add to one of the budgeting kits. So you can purchase this full budgeting kit with the August budget and then we also have weekly check-in, transaction log, and sinking funds and you can get all four of these pieces for ten dollars and then these washi strips are two dollars a piece for the thick washi and you can mix and match and I have two blue options I have this one here which I think is really pretty and then I have the darker one so you could get like two of each and then you'd have a strip of washi for the top of each page the August budget weekly check-in transaction log and sinking funds I also have thin washi as well I don't have that cut out yet. I meant to have that for this video, but I don't have it, so I'll have to insert some pictures of that. And then this is another um, thick washi option. So I have this one, and then I have one more light pink one, which I will insert a picture of, but I have this printed out because I'm planning to use it for a page in my planner to have my YouTube video ideas. So I printed myself out this little script sticker, and I'm going to use this for one of my pages. I thought that would be cute. And then also I made these expense trackers in new colors. My normal colors that I am using for this month, I'm going to switch over to these really pretty colors for August. But for July, I'm finishing out in my normal colors, which were kind of brighter, like a brighter pink. And then there was a brighter purple. Um, I was using gray as well, and then a brighter blue and a brighter green. But I'll show you the comparison of the new colors to these. So as you can see, these are much um, paler, and I think they're just really pretty. So I made a paler option. This is a peach color, and then this is a light teal color, a pale green, and then a paler purple. It's kind of a mix between like a blue and purple. So I really like that one. And then if you do purchase one of the August kits, the blue that I made here matches this blue for August. And then the peach matches this color in the pink kit. So just letting you guys know those colors do match up for August. That's kind of what inspired me to make these is the August colors that I picked because I thought they were really pretty. So yes, those are all of my new stickers for August. And now I will just show you a couple of the new holiday kits that I made for envelopes. So the new sets that I made for the holidays, this is one of them. 
It might look familiar because I think I might have sold this a long time ago on Etsy, but I couldn't find record of it. Um, so a lot of you might not have seen this, but this is one of the holiday kits and I love these for holiday sinking funds if you're just starting up. There are, in this set, there is a Christmas one, a Valentine's Day one, which I love this Valentine's Day one. And then there's a Halloween one. So you can set money aside for like buying candy or costumes. You can set money aside for Valentine's Day gifts for your kids or your husband or both. And then you can set money aside for Christmas. And sometimes I like multiple Christmas envelopes when it gets closer to Christmas so I can start to break it down. Um, but when it's like a long ways away, then I just put it in one envelope. And then this is a back to school envelope. This is birthday parties, or you could just make it a gifts envelope. This is 4th of July, a summer fund if you wanted a summer one, or you can customize it to whatever you want. St. Patrick's Day, this is the Easter one, and then this one is the New Year's one. And if you don't save money for some certain holidays, like say St. Patrick's Day, I don't really do much for St. Patrick's Day, so I don't really need money set aside, then you could just use this for like groceries or whatever you wanted to. That's what a lot of people do with these. So this is my first holiday set. And then I have just different patterns. This is the next one. I have two Christmas ones in this set, Halloween. Okay, I had a little interruption. My daughter wanted to get out of the bath for a second apparently, but Drew's in there giving her a bath right now. So we have a Halloween one, and these are all just different patterns. That's the back to school one, 4th of July, summer fund, um, this one was for Easter, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, and then New Year's. And these just aren't folded yet, so I'm just showing you the patterns. But that one is listed in my shop right now as well. And then also another one that I don't yet have folded, but I just wanted to show you the patterns if you haven't seen some of my other videos. This is one of my popular sets, the Pastel Rainbow set. So this one has some really pretty foil ones, and then just some fun ones. And you can customize these with any labels, whatever you want the labels to say. I believe it's an extra $2 to get a set of 10 labels. And I will just show you what the labels look like. You can request the special font. This is my new font, or you can get the old one as well, which is just a standard, like my sinking funds there. That's the old font, but you can request the new font. And then I put these all in the middle. So I really like how my set turned out and I actually have this set listed as well. This is the cotton candy marble set and the top one is the marble one and this is one of my favorite ones as well. So lots of fun sets in my shop. I just wanted to show you a couple of those and especially highlight the new holiday ones. But without further ado, let's get into the video and I'm going to start by tracking my expenses on my calendar. So now to get into my planner, and this is the Erin Condren Monthly Deluxe. I have my new monthly planner coming. It's not called the Deluxe anymore, it's just the monthly planner. And I got that for a really great deal. I forgot that they were pretty reasonably priced, and I think I got it for, uh, I wanna say, $45 after everything was said and done with shipping. So yeah, that wasn't bad at all. And this is my last month in this planner, that's why I needed another one. It ends in July. So I don't have any pretty stickers decorating this month. I just started getting back into my stickers with the August kit that I just showed. So I'm gonna be using that August kit for when I get my new planner and I'll do a video setting up my new planner. I'm really excited about that, so. But now let's start tracking my expenses. So first I have my personal and I actually did purchase something in my personal this time. It was a new phone case. Mine is just falling apart. And I'm just gonna write personal. And I'll write $10. And that was on the 12th. So I will put that down here. And then next, we don't have anything in gas this time because we just filled up a week ago. So we didn't need anything in gas. And then for groceries, we do have one transaction, which was today. We got all our groceries. We had to go to three different stores to get everything we needed. So we got everything that we needed finally from those three stores and it added up to $153, which was right on budget as long as we don't have to go back to the store this week. 
because our budget is 150 so I'm going to put that right here and then also we got toiletries as well and those were $16 so I'm gonna put that one down right away we just got toilet paper and paper towel so that added up to $16 that down the next thing is entertainment and we do have Actually, no, we don't have anything in entertainment because I tracked those the last time. Clothing, we don't have anything there. We do have a miscellaneous expense, and I forgot I had a page for this. I actually wrote it down in the back of my little tracker here. So $109, I'll write that here. For a blow-up pool that Drew decided to surprise us with, and I'm actually very excited about it to have in our backyard. So I'm gonna write 709. And I will do that in other, I'm gonna write miscellaneous and then $109. And that's a pretty big miscellaneous expense, but I can't really complain because I really wanted one. And then he decided to surprise me with one. So didn't think that we were going to be getting that this year. And then next we have gifts, and that will be other as well. But I had two different charges, $35 and $30. So I'm gonna write that down, gifts. And those were both baby shower gifts, um, $35 on the eighth, and then $30 on the 10th. I actually have three baby showers, one being my sister this summer, so that's pretty exciting. So there are those. And then we didn't get anything in baby clothing. Let's check baby fun, nothing in baby supplies. Toiletries, I already marked that. And then haircut, yes, we actually did have a haircut expense of $20 for Drew, $20. Drew's a little bit mad at me because I made him get a haircut and then the lady cut it way too short. So his precious curls are gone. So he's a little sad about that. But it, it does look nice. It's just shorter than he's used to. So $20 for that. So we were $2 over in the haircut category, but that's okay. Cause we'll just stuff it $2 short next week and it won't be a big deal at all. So that is done, and then now I'm gonna mark my no spends, which will just be Saturday and today. So that is looking good, and then tomorrow I will be stuffing my envelopes, so that video will be coming out shortly after this video. So I'll get to stuff my envelopes tomorrow, but before that, let's check in with each envelope and see how we're doing. Okay, I got my categories that I check in with wrote down here and I'm missing the strip of washi for now. I wasn't prepared for this video, but that's okay. So I'm gonna start with my expenses and I'm just gonna check in with my personal. I don't need to check in with my phone or Drew's envelopes because he has that money. So my personal, I spent $10, so I'll write that down here. And then remaining, I will count what I have remaining in my envelope. One, two, three, four, five hundred, six hundred, and four dollars. So six hundred and four dollars left. And if you guys are new here, I say this every time for a disclosure, but I've been saving up this money for months. We get we used to get $75 um, every paycheck, which we get paid twice a month, but now we lowered it to $50 every pay period, so that's why I have a lot because I've been saving it up for a lot of months. So yeah, and then I'll put my expenses back. Groceries, we spent this week 153 like I was saying. So we are technically negative three, but that's pretty good for us for groceries because we've been going over a lot in that category. So I'm glad we didn't go over too far. And then now for my sinking funds, the first category is entertainment. So we'll check in with that first. And we didn't spend anything this little short week. We spent a lot the last week. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, $14 left. 
and that is going to get stuffed tomorrow with another $50. So we'll have $64 in there. So that's pretty good. And then gifts, we are in the negatives on gifts. So I can already tell you there's nothing in this envelope. I spent $65 and I only had $30 in there. So I am over $35, so it won't be getting stuffed. Um, it won't be getting stuffed tomorrow. And then the next time I stuff it, I will just stuff it with $25. So that will be okay. I had to buy those two gifts right now because, I mean, I have those showers coming up, so there wasn't really any getting around it, which wasn't a big deal because um, it'll end up evening out. And then baby fun, we don't have anything left in that category. And I can't remember, I didn't spend anything this week, but let me see um, if we're over it all from the last week. Yes, we are over um, $4, which isn't bad. So when I stuff this tomorrow, it will just get four less dollars than normal. And then clothing, I didn't spend anything and we just have $0 in that category. Oh, whoops, that was actually, that was meant to go down here. So let's see what baby clothing was. Um, baby clothing, I didn't spend anything, so that zero is fine. But let's see what we have remaining. And baby clothing gets $50 every pay period, so $100 a month. So 50, 70, 80, 92 dollars. So. 92 is what we have remaining. So that is quite a bit. And then the last category that I check in with is miscellaneous. And I did spend, what was it, $109 on that pool. And then I'll just put a little dash because we don't have any money in the miscellaneous envelope. Um, that's just the one expense that didn't really fit into a category, so I put that there. So that is all for my envelopes, checking in with. We don't check in with Christmas right now, our birthdays, Bryn's birthday, car fund, and I checked in with clothing, but that had zero in it. So I'm going to put these back in my envelope, and that is going to be all for this video. And don't forget to enter the giveaway by giving this video a thumbs up, making sure you're subscribed to my channel, and then leave a comment below of what sticker set that you would like to win. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.